Life is full of problems, challenges, and pain and suffering for many. And I think we've all asked ourselves, or even reached out to God and asked, why the challenges, Lord? Why don't you just make all of my problems go away? The short answer is that God is at work in the midst of all your problems. You might not see it today, or it might not be in the solution you're looking for, but here is some reassurance as to how God is working through your problems. So first of all, it's important to note that the Bible acknowledges life's challenges. I want to start by making it clear that Jesus acknowledges that troubles and problems are an inherent part of human experience. John 16:33 reads, I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world you will have trouble, but take heart, I have overcome the world. This verse teaches us that life is going to throw difficulties and challenges our way, is perfectly normal, almost expected even. No matter how alone you feel or how difficult your struggles are right now, you're not alone. The Lord knows about your struggles and is with you. I also want you to be aware of the power of spiritual peace and resilience. John 16.33 also offers a message of hope and resilience, in particular the part that says, but take heart, I have overcome the world. This suggests that while God might not remove your problems, there is a promise of peace and strength to overcome challenges through faith in Jesus Christ. For me, this suggests that despite your circumstances, you can find an inner tranquility and assurance through your relationship with Jesus. In the Bible, this peace is often understood as transcending human understanding, as mentioned in Philippians 4.7. We should also acknowledge the purpose of trials. The Bible often speaks of trials and tribulations as having a purpose in the believer's life. James chapter 1 verses 2 to 4, for example, talks about trials producing perseverance and maturity. It reads, Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. Let perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. These verses helped me to see problems and challenges in my own life as opportunities for growth and strengthening of my own faith and I hope it does the same for you. We also need to recognize what is free will and human responsibility. I want to cover a common theological explanation for why God doesn't simply make all problems go away, and that's the concept of free will. Many believe that God has given us the freedom to make choices, and with that freedom comes the possibility of problems, both self-inflicted and otherwise. And I can see how the ability to make our own choices even if it does lead to adverse outcomes, is crucial for genuine moral development and spiritual growth. Working our way through problems is an important part of what it means to be human. It allows us to learn, grow, and develop a deeper understanding of good and evil, as well as right and wrong. And finally, we should never underestimate the important role of prayer and community. I know I've discussed why God will not magically make all of your problems go away whenever you ask, but that doesn't mean that you shouldn't pray for support, guidance, and help in times of need. Prayer serves as a powerful tool for emotional and spiritual relief. It allows for the expression of fears and worries in a safe, spiritual context, offering comfort and a space to process emotions. Prayer often leads to new perspectives on problems as well, providing clarity and insights that you may not otherwise have had. And above all, it fosters a connection between us and the Lord, which can be reassuring and empowering. Community, on the other hand, offers a shared space to lighten emotional loads. The support from community members can provide empathy, understanding, and sometimes practical help, like advice or physical aid. I really can't stress enough the importance of leaning on your community. That's what friends, peers, and your church members are there for.